This is Eitan Weinstein. And I'm Naor Menninger. And you're listening to Two Nice Jewish Boys. In collaboration with Australian Jewish News, check them out at ajn.timesofisrael.com. Also in collaboration with Arutz Sheva, israelnationalnews.com. At the age of 12, he ran away from home after his family was evicted from their home in the Amona settlement in the West Bank. It was then he was drawn to a life of right-wing nationalist extremism. He joined the Hilltop Youth, an informal group of settlers responsible for incessant attacks on Palestinians in the West Bank. Soon enough, he found himself indicted for incitement, his crime dancing with a picture of the murdered Duabsha baby as another Hilltop youth stabbed the photo. But this is all in his past. Today, Dov is an activist for Palestinian equality, for feminism, and for freedom of religion. Dov Morel is with us today, and the question we're asking, is this just another form of extremism, or is Dov a changed man? Today, we're joined by Dov Morel to talk about his life as a Hilltop youth, his journey, and the drastic change of perspective. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Good morning. Uh, I'm okay. Thank you for having me. Um, So let's start with that question. Is, Is this kind of, you know, a lot of the times you... we. You hear about people who are kind of on one side of the extreme on the spectrum, and then they, they kind of flip sides. Do you feel like this is sort of just, I don't know, uh, maybe trying to balance the scales? Or how do you, why, what do you feel made this change? Um, I think people that see it from outside see it as a very big change, and I, of course, understand why. But if you look at what made the change, you see that it's, one little thing that add a lot of influence about the b- bigger stuff. I see. So maybe let's take a step back and tell us a bit about yourself, where you grew up. I grew up in Talmon. It's a settlement uh, between Modin and Ramallah. Mm-hmm. Uh, mainstream uh, like settlement, nothing extreme. Both my parents grew up in the United States, made Aliyah after they finished high school, Standard uh, settlement, mitnachalim, nothing special. Um, when I was young, I used to very, I was very into reading books about the machtarot, the etzel, the lechi, the agana, right. the and underground uh, operations before the. Yes, and and I was at also very strong opinions about. Like I of course knew if I was then, I would be in the lechi, not in these like uh, <laughs> lefties of uh, the agana or et, even etzel. And I, I read the paper when I, from a very young age. I always like was watching what's going on and very uh, interested. Um, I also, even though my parents were like very mainstream, my where I learned, uh, I learned in this uh, what's called Talmud Torah uh, in high school. This it was like what's called Chardal uh, Chardilumi, like more extreme the uh, Tilumi, and and my. Uh, and my, my teachers were people that were also very active. My, my teacher in first and second grade was uh, um, arrested uh, in 2012, if I remember correctly, for um, this, it was a whole big project of going over the army and seeing if they're trying to destroy different uh, hilltops. Uh, and my other, uh, a different, uh, uh, another teacher in the four years out of the eight was the son of Chacham Yeshua ben Shushan from the uh, underground, uh, Machteret Yehudit. Uh, right, the uh, underground Jewish, uh, yeah. That wanted to explode uh, el Um So I, I, even though I didn't get it from home, I did get it from, you know, from like the high school. And when I grew up older, I, I got uh, in high school, I started learning in Itzar, in the mm-hmm. like high school. And then Itzar I started, is a settlement kind of in the heart of the West Bank, right next to Nablus. Yes. It was just in the news recently because. News uh, all the time. <laughs> yeah. Settlement. Uh, settlers from there often go out and. Uh, I, I was like, I served actually in the in the checkpoint in Nablus, and we would constantly have to deal with uh, Itzar settlers. Yeah. 
But your parents knew they're sending you to those kind of um well the high the the where I learned in high in uh in kindergarten not kindergarten um primary school and um kilo yesterday primary school yes. middle school middle, middle school. school so it, I mean not everyone that learned there ended up like me my brothers then my brothers continued to regular the tilo me you know Shiva is there went to the army like everything regular it's not that everyone came that got got the same thing um, but high school when I went to Isa my parents were against that I had to all uh, fight with them till they agreed after like a few months that I was I insist on going there and the end they agreed and only they made me promise that I won't uh, attack uh, Arabs or uh, or uh, police or army I mean not that I was Uh, attended to do that really but i said i would so it was they were worried they knew. yeah they were worried they, they really didn't want me to go to each other they were against that it was a, like it was all thing between me and them back then so you you were living in talmon at that point i was living in talmon then and talmon is not a settlement it's a settlement it's a, it's settlement. a so mainstream you, settlement you I, know. See. i see so your parents are also kind of living in the west bank at the time settlers yes. And but they're against attacking uh, Arabs or uh, soldiers, yeah. policemen. It's something uh, that needs to be kind of, I guess, uh, highlighted, right? That there is not all settlers. Not, not even that it's not all. The most. M- majority. It's a little. Uh, it's like it's, uh, the majority are against it, uh, like very against it. Um, I mean, I, I do think, you know, today, what I believe today, I think there are things. stuff that are connected I mean I think it's like if you uh, um, pro uh, occupation so it's like it, some some of the people would take it to more extreme but it's not but pe- most of the people are against the violence against the uh, Palestinians and uh, and uh, army and police I see um, so wh- when does this so you go to Italy in the end you go to high I school? Go to Italy, I, st- I, I, I like I moved they start in a different place they started there in uh, with uh, in 10th grade and when I finished uh, it's it's like it's like a Har it's, it's the same way Haredi high school works that it finished a year earlier it's still 11th grade so after a year and a half I finish and I start and I move like full-time to be in a hilltop named Dramat Migron. Which is near it's, itself? Uh, near, it's n- like nearer, it's closer to Yushalayim. It's near the um, uh, settlement uh, Migron that was uh, invicted. But, but you were destined to be a soldier in, the, in a Hesder yeshiva? I, I wasn't going to go to the army. And uh, when I was uh, later, when I was 18, I, was in, uh, I got a administrative detention from all of... Uh, Uh, from, from all the West Bank besides where my parents lived Talmon uh, so I went to the army to, to, to the, the army and they didn't want me I didn't want them so it was very easy uh-huh. I got it. was Talmon close to Ita? I mean uh, it's not very close it's not like a uh, 40 minute drive how, you would, hour. how would you get there your parents uh, would drive you uh, no hitchhike You would hitchhike hitchhike. through the West Bank. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) everyone in the West Bank does it. It's not such uh, (laughs) extreme. Scary, though. Not everyone. (laughs) Everyone there. Yeah, everyone there. I mean, that wasn't something special that I did. I did a lot of other (laughs) stuff that people didn't do. So so what kind of trouble did you get into? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of trouble? Um, so uh, for, uh, the first few years, I wasn't arrested because I, like, I went to some stuff, but never, I wasn't like full time. It took time. The first time I was arrested um, was uh, when Obama was president and he was pressuring uh, the Israeli government to not build in, uh, in the West Bank, uh, called in Hebrew Zakpa, in English to say the freeze, I don't know. Uh, um, It was already for like a few years that they didn't have any new building and then they were going to renew it. So they did, they were, um, there, there were, um, uh, um, protest of, uh, um, like on, uh, Chesimat Kvishim. Yeah. Blocking, uh, roads. Yeah. Blocking roads. Uh, so in the age of 17, 16, not sure. Uh, then I was there I said a few more times that there were um, it was once uh, we were trying trying to get to um, Joseph's tomb in Nablus mm-hmm. and 
so after a few times, what happened was they they, they go they're in this different like there are a few times during the years they go there with the army, and we were gonna go without the army, and they tried to step us way ahead in uh, near uh, Tapuach, Justin, mm-hmm. um, and and so we were there. Not, I was gonna go and like attack an Arab, and then all the police were gonna go on me, and between and then all of the people were gonna try to pass the police and to get to get there. So I was arrested uh, you, for you. The idea was uh, that you would create a diversion yes. by attacking an Arab. The police would then be diverted, and everybody else would go through. The, this is at App, the Apple Junction, the Port yes. Junction. Okay. Yes, and that, and so then I I, I did um, uh, um, spray. I, I sprayed him with uh, pepper spray. Pepper spray. Yes. Um, that was, I think, that was like the only time that it was attacking Arabs. The other other uh, times I was arrested, it was different kind of protest. Um, we, I was also later, I was very active in uh, uh, Arabai's Temple Mount. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we did a lot of different kind of protests uh, around that. Uh, Wait, so did the, did the ruse work? I mean, when you did the police? Um, get, yeah, uh, I, I was in a, I was, I was in a not get caught tried to and i almost did but uh and then i did you did yeah, and yeah then, but I'm, everybody else got through yeah i see and then was there was there was, there wasn't a checkpoint at that point in Nablus? It was a checkpoint yeah no in nablus um th- but th- there was a, i don't know and then they they walked a lot they passed and they didn't they didn't pass the they didn't pass the checkpoint near nablus they go around it uh, uh, okay. uh, we would we would sometimes get uh settlers also from Itzal, but from other areas and they would come with they would get it, it you would see a car start speeding towards right. the checkpoint from israel in the direction of the palestinian territory so you don't shoot right because it's not if you see a car do that from the other end then you shoot but if it's a car coming from israel then you don't shoot and they would speed and they would just play chicken with what, us. what, what time like what year it was 2008 nine uh, so Maybe I, it was I, no i wasn't there <laughs> I was in eighth grade, yeah, but grade, you were nine. in one of those years cars. One, uh, I was never. Point. I was never in the cars. The cars oh. were always um, the whoever started the going into the cars is uh, whoever is now in uh, in the uh, uh, in the news. Uh, Eliezer El- Belland from Shuvubanim. Mm. It was less uh, sellers, more uh, Breslev Hasidim. Ah, okay. Uh, but also some it's of the funny the subgenre of yeah. <laughs> right of. Uh, I don't know, confronting the extremists, uh, yeah. people who want to cross no, the, the cars. That's <laughs> yeah. them. That's not us. <laughs> yeah. No, because because the, the difference was that by them, it was it was only about, you know, getting to the Yosef to whenever they want. But yes, it was a political. Yeah, like we want to that go back there. We want it was a it was kind of a protest. It was a different way of protesting. It was like, you know, you won't tell us when to come in. We will go with a hundred with tens of people, sometimes even hundreds of people. It was. But would there be violence against soldiers also, or the the violence against soldiers? Or it's it's never from what I remember. It's never um, like they never. Uh, you don't want to get there. But if soldiers try to bother you to do what you want, so yeah, there are people are attacking soldiers. Um, but there are also you know violence you know from both sides. I mean, I, I was almost. Uh, I, I remember once uh, a soldier almost shooting us. And like really? a friend, you was you like you came to you press the the um, the gun, and his friend like jumped on him and stopped him from doing it. Wow, I yeah. wanna I wanna go back to to the what you were describing before at the Puak Junction. So you you went up to a you picked a, r- a random Arab, I'm guessing, and sprayed him in the right. face. Do you remember kind of what was going through your mind at that point? Well, at that point, I I mean, I was pro-attacking uh, Palestinians. Uh, so it's like win-win. You know, I, it's not that I, like, it's not that I had a problem. I, I was always, like, okay with attacking Palestinians. And here I also have a uh, reason to do it. Yeah. So it didn't, it's win-win. There was no such thing as like an innocent bystander. No, yeah. no. In my what I thought then, all Palestinians are not are not innocent. And today, looking back, I don't think that. <laughs> I think uh, I I think if someone you don't know that attacked you, you can just attack someone just because yeah. is race. So so let's talk about how that happened. Like when did that? When did all of a sudden the shift 
occur? I mean, because you describe it as not so drastic at the beginning of the show, but no, you're I, talking I, about literally no, the it's, opposite it's, perspective. I, I, I want to correct. It's not that I think it's not drastic, but I think if you look what made the change, you see that it's one thing that may be little and only, uh, you know, like philosophical, but it then has real um, influ influence on, on what happens in your life and, and more extreme stuff. So what happened when in the, uh, towards the end of 2015, um, they arrested um, people for accusing them for the uh, um, murder in Duma. Mm -hmm. Of the Duabsha family. So people, maybe people who don't know the story, essentially, essentially, it was a Tag Mechir? Yes. Right, the price tag operation, which is a code name for, I don't know how you call it. Uh, Retaliation operation. Yeah. Uh, against what? Against the, the kidnapping of the three... I don't remember exactly what, what happened, was... but I, in that time, what people are not really aware, even people that are Israeli people that are following the news, there are a lot of, um, of uh, stuff like what happened in Duma. The only difference was that it didn't end with murder. Right. But what happened so is Palestinian that... Palestinian houses that were um, uh, yeah. put on fire yeah. happened all the time. Mm -hmm. I remember at least two other times from that time that, you know, like, but people, you know, they're only hurt from uh, ha blowing, uh, for uh, breathing. Uh, right. Uh, they managed smoke. to escape. Then no, no, one, no, one, no one actually uh, died. So but it didn't get time, to the news. Basically... Uh, extreme zealots uh, burned a, burned a house through a cocktail. I think a yeah. cocktail into the into a, house and the, just a random house the, of the Arabs. The mother, the father, and the baby. The yeah. baby was uh, like at, at uh, like, uh, died in the place, and the mother and the father a few weeks later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they caught the perpetrators. Uh, few um, they claimed they caught. I don't believe yeah. they did it. Ah, uh, okay. Because there was torture of, involved. Yes. I think the trial is still ongoing. Um, the one of them was uh, only one was invicted uh, mm -hmm. in the crime, and it's going to be. Uh, it's up now. They're appealing to the um, high court. Um, high court. Yeah. So you don't believe. I don't believe they do. I can't say for 100%, but right. I, I, I don't think that what they have is enough proof. And I also think that even if it was, you can't uh, invict someone for... Uh, um, uh, Oda, um, yeah, confession. confession. You can indict someone for confession. If it was under torture. Yes. Right, because the the yeah. Secret Service, the Israeli Secret Service. I mean, what they, in, in the court, what they uh, the, the the judge had said in the court that it's not uh, because of the torture, because it wasn't right after or right before they tort tortured him, because it was uh -huh. like I don't know two days between, so it's not considered. What torture did did they go through? Um, so Do the, we know. Um, we know some of them. They it's. It's a lot of stuff that it's basically stuff that you don't see physically because when they've been mm -hmm. to court, you couldn't see it. But it was like uh, tying in different ways, like a, a like a bench, and you tie the hands to the legs, like underneath the bench. Yeah, uh, and and also, but also. Um, uh, slamming with the head and the hand and, and a lot of like this the guy that was uh, Amiram ben Uriel that was invicted uh, he was a friend of mine I, I knew mm -hmm. him personally uh, so and he was he was very extreme uh, religious like uh, really like you know not looking at women his wife would go with like uh, uh, a shawl and right. very very extreme so they also they claim that they did the Shabak did not admit it but what they claim that they also had a, like a police woman uh, like touching game and so I believe like someone that knows him that's like for him that was like really you know and mm -hmm. that's a sexual assault in my opinion to do. right um, so so okay so there was this uh, murder of the Duapsha family and yes. where and did so the, after, after, after a year later that, six months they were arrested and around the time they were arrested, there were a lot. We we were doing a lot of protests and against the, their arrest, and especially when it came out that they were being tortured. And um, 
in that time, also person, uh, a lot, right before, right in the time of the of the Duma um, uh, murder, like six months earlier, I opened uh, I opened the Facebook page, mm. and and um, and also I have like some personal stuff in my life. I was a little bit in uh, um, lost, Dikon, no, uh, um, depressed, depressed. Uh, some stuff that happened in my personal life, and I wanted to go to my uh, family in America for some time. And after the people I read and all the talk about the torture, my parents uh, agreed to uh, send to pay the ticket to go to America. And I was there by my by my family. Uh, I was by my aunt in uh, Passaic, New Jersey. And so, first of all, so basically that I wasn't, uh, you know, near everything that hap- happening. And also that I had a, a Facebook and I started opening to different people, like very different people. Like until then, I, I knew my parents were against what I did. But all what I knew was religious people that usually would... Uh, that when you, when I would uh, 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 argue with people about tag uh, price tag, uh, attacking Arabs, so it was like, does is it according to Allah to do that or not? Mm-hmm. And then I I, I was I I, I, I heard more people that it wasn't part of you know it was saying like you don't attack innocent people. I don't care you know if it's if you have uh, some explanation in the Rambam in uh, Allah why it's okay. You don't, you don't do that. It's not right. okay to attack Arabs. Uh, or anyone. So and Mark Zuckerberg like, also did good things. Yes, uh, a lot of good <laughs> things. I also met my wife through Facebook, though. So. Um, even though now I'm not on Facebook, and uh, if Mark Zuckerberg is listening, I'd like him to uh, open my account back. The uh, Oh, they blocked you? Yes, uh, <laughs> we can talk about that if you want. Uh, very stupid uh, story. Yes. Okay, uh, so we'll get but, to that yeah. after. But anyway, so you opened so a Facebook. I opened a Facebook, and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't there. I was further away, and and I was in a certain place in my personal life that made me think about stuff uh, to, uh, again. And basically, the the change that I think changed everything was that I said, you know, I'm religious. I believe in God. I believe in Allah. But if what if what I understand Allah is to hurt someone else, so you know in that kind in that part I don't believe in Allah. I don't believe it. I'm not for that. I'm not religious. And uh, like I'm you know like if it's anything about me about my own life about what to eat what to do about m- myself, okay. But not when it's hurting other people. Um, the. It was this the main thing that uh, one of the stuff that really touched me was this uh, movie that I watched and I forget the name in English, in Hebrew it's called Liotita, but in English it's not translation; it's a different name. But the uh, translation is to be with her. Yeah, it's a movie or a TV it's, show. It's a, it's a it's a movie, okay. and it's uh, about it's uh, based on a real story that happened in New Jersey about this uh, uh, lesbian uh, 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 police officer. Uh, that anyway, she, she gets cancer and she has this all. Uh, she tries, and in that time, they didn't consider they didn't add a, a gay marriage. And she, she it's wants an Israeli movie, no, no, it's American, American. Okay. American. It's based on a story that happened in New Jersey, based on a real story. And uh, and in the end, uh, they as she's not even asking to get gay marriage and asking that her, um, uh. The state pension, ah, uh, pension, yeah, the pension, retirement, uh, retirement pension. When she's gonna pass away, because she knows she's going to pass away, will go to her uh, partner, and and then it really they they change it, and then after a few years later they uh, they got a gay marriage in New Jersey, and but what touched me in that movie that it, it's uh, it's this scene that uh, while her um, partner is working in this garage comes uh, uh, someone on a motorcycle and throws on her uh, um, a glass bottle and and the movie so first of all it really help, makes you you know feel connected to the heroes of the movie and then you think you know if this would happen in Israel high chances that I would know that guy that throws uh, the, the glass uh, b- bottle and you know and then I was like you know 
I, I myself, you know, have r religious stuff that I don't do like as I would want to. So to come and, and to say that someone that's doing something, you know, maybe it's really not okay according to, you know, the, according to Allah, but it's not a reason to come to, to try to force them to do that, to do that or to hurt them. And, um, so I, I, and, um, in that time, so I started, you know, I was talking with the people and thinking about it. And when I came back to Israel for four months later, after I was there in America for a month, um, I basically wasn't involved anymore in uh, all the um, all the stuff I was involved before. And uh, what I started to being involved because I cannot be involved in something was in this uh, Israeli uh, group that. Uh, was, was called Chofesh Lekulanu, Freedom to All, um, that is a, a liberal or, let's say, libertarian uh, organization, and I was really connected, and I, I see it, the, like, I, the reason I uh, ch did the change is because I believe in, in, uh, in uh, freedom and, and liberty, and I think I shouldn't, you know, that that I believe in something doesn't mean I should... Uh, for someone else to do that, and, th and through that, I came to uh, like libertarian uh, Israeli uh, activism. Um, and at first, I wasn't really into uh, left, uh, you know, um, politics. politics, like in uh, like on the occupation, Palestinian. I, I just I wasn't involved. In it. Not that I was still writing. I just didn't want to go into it. It was, and what really was a change. So it's uh, in my like I said because that movie was uh, um, to LGBT, and I was really starting getting into the into that world, um, and and at. Uh, as the years went, I started more and more also writing about uh, left wing and uh, the occupation, Palestinians. One of the first stuff that I started writing a lot about was uh, administrative uh, um, 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 it's, it's administrative a, detention. Yeah, no, but the yeah, but the detention arrest. arrest. I was in administrative detention that just didn't let me go into West Bank. Just but to for, explain, uh, yeah, but the the more harsh is when you are actually right. being so arrested. So Israel for the past basically 30, uh, 30 40 years. Uh, there, I, I just went recently on the uh, the numbers. The least was like a hundred and thirty or something. Uh, the month and basically, but some years, what? Uh, um, uh, Palestinians are in administrative arrest, and and some months it was even you know in like when in the Intifada I would get to like I don't know six hundred. Sometimes you would have an in certain point, and most you mean one hundred forty at any given 30, time or and, a year. And the 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 numbers are about every month. So every the month, month that, that was the lowest was uh -huh. I don't remember exactly, but right now, but more, over hundred. But also settlers would be so settlers, arrested. Yeah, but v way more rarely. Like you of can course, really see yeah. But but it's it's worth explaining that Israel has been in a in a legal state of emergency since it's uh, it, it, it it was founded until today. We're in right. a state of emergency, and. Because of that, the army uh, which rules the the West Bank. But it's not only in the West Bank; it's mainly in the West Bank. But the, you know, also uh, Israeli uh, um, Arabs and uh, right. Like we said it uh, allows the army, the sh the Shabak, the secret services to arrest people for weeks and months without seeing a lawyer, right? For even years and without proof. Years. Without without you do you process not, not only without proof without even right you're saying that you don't really need to say what they're arrested for it's like when when I got that minister of detention mm -hmm. they're saying you know we're doing we know you're doing problems in uh, the West Bank basically right it's not like you know accusing something specific we know you're going to there's do. no trial no, no. witnesses no, is there, is there is like that you bring to court to to um to give like the diploma to like uh, to, you do need to bring him to court and. 24 or 48 depends if it's in the West Bank or in Israel but no but I think 48 anyway anyway so 48 hours 48 hours but anyway it's not like you need, it's not that you, like if they show him something they don't need to show the lawyer they only mm -hmm. show the judge 
Um, so and then the judge makes the final decision. The the, the judge they he doesn't make it. He, He's he, another step. Yes, it's it's all, recently there was the first time that it got to the high uh, to the um, Supreme, Court. Supreme Court and it was uh, and they did and they and they agreed that you should bring the rest. And it was like the first time like from what I know since ever. Right. Like, mm. right yeah. But okay, so so you started, which begs the question, if we're talking about you being a libertarian, because we didn't mention it, but one of the events you took part at, we said it in the in the beginning, was the hatred, uh, right? You right. were there, the hatred wedding, where people were charged of inciting for violence for dancing with a photo of the dead baby, the dead right. uh, Palestinian baby, and stabbing the photo. Now, a true libertarian would say that it's freedom of speech. Oh, so I, I do believe in that. I also think that today. Um, that's why I'm, 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 I'm not, I, I didn't, you know, say I, I commit guilty and, you know, right. decide, because I don't think I was guilty. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's not criminal. I don't think it's criminal. Right. I, I don't think it should be criminal. I also, uh, first of all, I also I don't think that it sh- even stuff that are for sure criminal in the law today should be changed. But this, I also in the law today, I don't think was uh, was a crime. Um, and the, the uh, our in the um, ktinim, uh, minors, the minors in the same case uh, were. Um, uh, were persecuted and yes, and, and, yeah. uh, yes, and and by us they still didn't decide. We're having they didn't give the date when they're gonna decide about the about us uh, this Thursday. Uh-huh. Um, uh, we, this we, Thursday, they didn't give us the date. Uh-huh. So it's one more. Um, so you're ch- still in process. Yes, I'm still in the process. It's crazy. How many years? Uh, soon six years. It's just insane. But for for the pepper spraying, you weren't in that. Ah, I was. I was in the, But then I was a minor. So and ah, how old were you? Um, I don't remember exactly. Like seventeen, something so, ah, under, okay. under eighteen. So you uh, were indicted, but as a minor. Yeah, so did you? It wasn't. Get, it wasn't very. I, were you, I, were I you did, sentenced to anything? I, I they did what's called. Um, that they take in um, cases, they take a few cases, cases, and then like you oh, get like right. punishment for for like a few together. Um, and because it was mine, I was a minor. This it wasn't something I don't remember exactly what it was. But Do you know what happened to I the Palestinian real. that you spread? Um, I mean, I saw him right after. You know, I mean, I I got myself peppered spayed a few times. It's not not a nice thing to it happened but it's not it's nothing you know it, you wash it and it goes off so mm-hmm. it's not like you know it's not you're, you're not injured and in in um, in merits you join you join so uh, yeah. so there uh, starting so then i started going to left i joined i joined the uh, merits and uh, a certain uh, uh, group in merits called merits liberals um right after the uh the morning after the first elections in the all the lot of elections we had now in uh-huh. two thousand in April two thousand nineteen I voted um the Ut Feglin. Uh, I knew I don't agree with him about Palestinians and different stuff, but I I believed I believed him and basically not not him, mainly different people in his party that that's not gonna be a main part of uh, of what they're gonna deal with. Uh, and the morning after the election was in pass, they didn't get enough votes uh, and they didn't get in. Um, he wrote this post and, and basically he wrote there, ha ha, you thought, you thought we are not, an, uh, uh, we're not, we're not right and we're not left because you, know, you said a different something like that during the election. Really, I was going to be the most right wing that there is and now the right was is, is in a problem because I didn't pass and all whoever didn't vote me is not okay. I'm like, okay, I'm not voting for him or anything like that again. Uh, and also then I... As as no, as I'm, I am a libertarian and I care about economics issues, but I do think that the um, uh, um, civil right, individual freedom, individual freedom, not ci- not only civil. Yeah. in Israel, it's very important because uh, we're talking about first things. So, uh, is is more important to me than different economic issues that are important, and I do. I'm very right wing about them, and so. Not that I'm a huge fan of Meretz, but I think Meretz... There is no one in Meretz. Meretz is the left-wing party in Israel, for those who don't know. 
There isn't anyone right now in Meretz who represent those right. ideas. No one represents them, but there is in Mer- is what the reason I joined Meretz is because there are people in Meretz there uh, that want to be more but economic left like in social and, this, and other people that said no merit needs to be uh, to, to deal with uh, the occupation and and so and, and, and also freedom uh, uh, and and rights of you know of also Israelis it's uh, if the um, if it's the legalization of marijuana that merit was the first one to start it mm-hmm. and if it's uh, um, not that not all of merits are pro but uh, not Stopping the fourth, um, you know, youth um, uh, mandatory, man- compulsory uh, drafting. So I feel I I felt and I still feel that that in merit I have the most uh, chances to um, to find people that would uh, um, like. Um, advance your, advance those. those stuff that I believe in and yes it's not what I believe in with economic issue but it's not the economic issues are not uh, the most important uh, today with what's happening uh, if when well, now that merits after 20 years are in the government and I see what even the people that I really um, appreciate uh, the mainly one person uh, Mosiraz, I see and what they are uh, saying that they would uh, um, get out of the government and go to elections and what they don't. And I'm a little bit disappointed and I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Everyone disappoints <laughs> you, I noticed. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't. I, 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 <laughs> anyway, I, I was never a big and never and today even more a big believe of, of change through politics. I, mm-hmm. I believe mainly about convincing people and the change would come when you would convince more people uh-huh. it's, uh, if I'm very happy about uh, libertarian groups in different uh, parties all the parties mm-hmm. um, I would never except, uh, except labor party I don't <laughs> think there's a libertarian the truth branch. is there was <laughs> there was uh, they're not active anymore uh-huh. um, and there were more um, social liberals but they were still like I, I think in every party even uh, the Labour Party, there are stuff, libertarian stuff, that you can uh, you can advance. Mm-hmm. And there are different, you know, in one place maybe it will be the economics, and one will be uh, a, 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 um, free, uh, freedom, right. freedom rights. So what is libertarian and merit? So we, most of what we're doing is really, um, it's, it's just taking merits to a more liberal place, more libertarian place. And different, the way then and what the, a lot, we get a lot of comments uh from both sides you know from right wing people that are saying you know what do you have to do in merit they're very left uh, they're socialist and from people in merit that's saying you know you're a libertarian merit is a social uh uh, uh democratic so, party so why not listen to those people um because they're wrong <laughs> um merit is is uh, uh, um, started from three different parties, and right, one of them was Mapam, that were that was a social uh, social democracy party, and and I, I don't, I, and it's not the part I'm connected to, but the other two parts, Shinui, some of Shinui, and mainly and you know, and Rats, Shulamitaloni, were um, not the, not the, all of them were libertarian as me for sure, not Rats, but. They 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 weren't socialist. Uh, they weren't or they weren't socialist as Meretz is today. Right. But Meretz today if Shulamit, is uh, socialist. So okay. Why? So, but I, I I I would want to be if I. Uh, it's like to it's like to be on the just ship that's at the bottom of the ocean and say one once this ship was one hell of a ship. Um, but first of all, I don't have any other option. I think all the other options are worse. Because mm. merits, it's worth mentioning, is it's a democratic party with right. primaries, as opposed to other ah, parties. Yeah. So theoretically, you can you could bring, change it. You could change it. Yes. Yeah, and and there are people, there are people in merits that you know I think would would change if um, enough people like in, in, would be in the prime if if we would have enough political uh, uh, oh. power. So, so some people like you have people in marriage that are socialists. I don't know, uh, and, for, and and their and their power is, is going down. But most of marriage, it's they if are not as that like it's that's not what they they care about most. Uh, I don't know uh, Tamar Vandberg. Okay, if I, I believe if, if she she can go, she 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 wants. Uh, she, there was a. a 
they tried to do to to, to do this kind of group uh, before we did, and Tamar Danberg they needed they wanted to do it officially. We are not official group of inside merit. Where there's like a few people that are trying to do stuff, and they tried to do it officially, and you need to get some votes. And Tamar Danberg uh, um, signed uh, not votes uh, signs, and she signed for them, and then she went back because there are a lot of people mm-hmm. going against her. But th- it's also worth mentioning that uh, right now with COVID, uh, the Minister of Health Horowitz, who is the leader of Merit's party, uh, he said very very vividly that lockdowns is crazy, uh, and in in fact he didn't. go with lockdowns, although they could have done it in, in that. Were they know. always opposed to lockdowns, though? I don't well, know. It, I mean, yeah, but... If, From the beginning? I, I have no idea, actually. But I mean, I don't remember exactly. Yeah. But, they, but when they are in power, they, like, I think it, it matters something. Like, it's the best we have. Yeah. So, what, you know what, let's, let's for a second leave merits as it is. What would your ideal merits look like? Or what would your ideal my political ideal be merit, party? My ideal political party, um, so it would be right wing uh, in economics and left wing in, uh, in, in uh, civil rights and, uh, in, in um, right. In But forget left rights. wing and right wing. Uh, like, what would be, what look, what, so first of all, I, 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 I'm, I'm not, what I believe is, Even if in some stuff I'm very extreme libertarian, I don't think it needs to be changed tomorrow. You know, and like for example, uh, uh, um, the uh, health care and um, um, welfare. welfare and uh, I don't believe we need tomorrow the state needs to say we're not funding that anymore. But I do believe that in, even when the state funds it, you can make it more open to um, uh, uh, <laughs> the Harut, um, competition. competition. <laughs> so, but, but regarding and, the... And, but the, the most important thing to me, one of the things yeah. that I really think is the, mo- the biggest uh, uh, um, uh, in... in for, um, yeah, the biggest transgression of individual is, freedom. Is the mandatory uh, army, that everyone ah. needs to go to the army. I okay. think that's one of the worst stuff that, that happened in Israel. The worst thing is, I think, the um, uh, occupation. In, uh, but I don't think that, but that I'm very spectacle that it would be able to, to change. I don't see it changing. I think uh, the Would you give citizenship finished. to all the... I, I, I'm, I, I believe in one state with, uh, with that everyone has the same rights. We get citizenship. And I'm, I'm not pro uh, two states. Even With if it means... Uh, three, four million Palestinians. Yeah. In Gaza too. Um, I don't know. But God, I one never, state never. is one state. Uh, but I think, but I think even if you don't give... Even, but if you, if you don't give Gaza, you need to not to let them do whatever. They, like you can't... But, but if... Or but, the, you, the difference between Gaza and, and, uh, and, and uh, you're down in Samaria is that... You, The, the army is not there and they have the re- their own government that can really decide there are stuff that Israel stops them from doing and I think they, sh- they shouldn't like or basic the main thing that I think is that or that you're not involved you let them they do whatever they want I don't think we need to build them their own state they, mm-hmm. we just not need to go out there but if you're there you have to get you have to give them the same rights even if it means there will be an Arab majority in the state of Israel and yes. and they will rule that's, that's democracy. If you don't want so just go out but you can't you can't you can't be there and not give him the rights but I I don't like to um, but it's not what I my uh, yeah what your, I fight for because I don't see being change mm-hmm. what I do care about is we're there now and we're we I care about what really if I feel affects the Philistinian the That is there mm-hmm. when you uh, when every time there is a Jewish holiday on Pesach or, or Rosh Hashanah, you don't let the, you, you do a um, lockdown lockdown right on all of the Palestinians or um, a, a administrative, administrative arrest and or taking their uh, a, a land like you have someone even if it's not officially connected if you have a land that and someone has their uh, this olive tree that he's working for years, you can't just say oh because it's not officially right yours we're now taking it. 
that, that I care about really affects the the Palestinian. Uh, I do have, I agree that it's not even uh, the, that it's not okay that we don't give them rights, but it's not going to be changed, and I don't see why to fight about that mm-hmm. so much. So uh, anything else except one thing? Why were you banned from Facebook? Um, I had an argument with a friend from Merit Liberals that he said that oh, what the right wing people are saying that there is um, uh, a flaya, um, discrimination. discrimination for right wing people on Facebook. It's not true. So I told him, let's do a try. And I wrote on Facebook, Ben C. Gubstein is a nice guy. <laughs> And We need to explain. Yeah. Ben C. Gubstein is one of the... Leaders of the right wing se- settlement yes, uh, the, settlers. Uh, the, yeah. uh, t- uh, the, like, If you write his name on Facebook, you, you get banned. Just so by I, I got banned really? first. Yeah. Yes. In a comment, if you write Ben Sigopstein, yes. boom. That's the name. You're so <laughs> it was, that, that was like, <laughs> that was, I don't know, a year ago. <laughs> don't say it. That was basically a year ago. And then I, when I, after 30 days, like Voldemort. when I, yeah. And when I finished the, the when I, uh, when I finished the 30 days, I wrote all posts of what I really think about Benti Gupstein and they have a lot of, uh, uh, criticism on him and I wrote Can my you write opinion. Hitler on Facebook? So, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, people checked it. So um, I wrote it, and I didn't write Benzi Gupstein. I wrote Otto Aish. Uh, uh, the, the guy who must not be named. Yeah, yeah. And, but in the Jewish version of... Yeah. No, 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 no. I wrote Aushen and Kovash the ah, Israeli... Right. The, with the way the they translated Rodomort yeah. in Hebrew. <laughs> He who must and, not be named. But then I was arrested because they put a picture of him. So I put a picture. Arrested? Uh-huh. Not you arrested. You yeah. Sorry, Ben. Facebook. Uh, okay. The Facebook police. That's not not yet. In a few. And then, and then I wrote, uh, and then and, th- and I switched the picture of, of Benty Gupstein to a picture Mickey of, Mouse. now Mickey Mouse, of, uh, of uh, Carrie Bear. Uh, They the switched of, it or you switched it? No, I switched it. it. I put it on again after they deleted my post. <laughs> But then I was banned because it was, I wrote their lava. The organization, Benzi Gupstein, is it. And then I wrote it with all the different chains. I wrote it, and, and it stayed there. But since then, every time I wrote stuff, I was all the time banned. Like, I don't know, I, I had an argument with Good someone. Good morning, boom, No, banned. no, stuff that, <laughs> stuff that usually was stuff that it's, like, if you don't see the connection, it, it sounds bad. Like, right. for example, I, I, I was arguing with someone on Facebook about freedom of speech. So I wrote, in my opinion, uh, uh, in freedom of speech should involve uh, uh, saying Mavit Laravim, death to all Arabs. Mm-hmm. So I was uh, banned. And, uh, you know, because it sound, it's, if you, it's that's the algorithm and you don't see, you know, the connection, it looks like I wrote that to Aaron. And, and I, I, also a few times I wrote Benzi Gupstein and I tried to write it, you know, without writing the whole name. Right. And three anyway, instead of Tzadik. Oh, yes. And or they did, did, did Bet uh, and, and, you know, and uh, uh, like uh, <laughs> Kochaviot. Right. Anyway. I was a, a, few, a lot of time banned, like all the time. It was in the past, since started, it wasn't more than two months that I wasn't banned. Uh, wow. And, and uh, like a, a month so, ago, yeah, basically a month ago, I was banned for writing Benzi Gupstein, but not really writing it. And uh, oh, the, the reason I wrote it for Benzi Gupstein that time was Benzi Gupstein, uh, 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 Twitter a few, um, a few months, like a month, two months ago, uh, um, deleted uh, Baruch Marvel, a different uh, right. Kahana uh, follower, uh, deleted his account. Uh-huh. And when they deleted the account, I got uh, like a message from Twitter that uh, you're... Um, That like I I I I um, divached uh, You reported. I reported him. him so and it was and it really. Yeah, Did and, you report him? So I didn't remember reporting him. Would you But, report him? So and I don't report a lot of people. It's only really really extreme places there, and I couldn't. I wasn't able to find like what exactly I reported on him. By what? But why would But, you re- report anyone? Well, uh, the only time I remember reporting someone was uh, when. Uh, Ofik Bukhis, this uh, army uh, officer that was uh, accused of uh, um, in sexual assault. Mm-hmm. And it was someone that wrote the name of the, the um, soldier that reported him. Mm-hmm. The, Violating the, a censor, like a... Yeah, censorship. Yeah. So that's the only time I really remember reporting someone. I really do it very, very rarely. I don't know, but mm-hmm. someone, you know, I, like, I don't, I, I don't know. 
Um, I don't remember doing it. Anyway, but I tweeted it. And then uh, Ben C. Gupstein uh, wrote in his telegram uh, the, the um, Dov Morel, uh, Rasha, the traitor, blah, blah, blah. He wrote, like, he doesn't like me. And also, it was mainly about to, uh, I won't get into all the politics. But anyway, uh, so um, someone wrote to me, uh, I forget about what connection it was, uh, that I'm a, uh, that I'm a kofer. It was like a joke. And I wrote, ah, Ben Gupstein Sadak. Was right. It was a joke. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, you wrote it on Facebook. On Facebook. Ben's option was right. And, and after goes. that, I was so I was banned. And after a little bit after I got banned, I got a message. They deleted my account, and I can appeal. And mm-hmm. I appealed, and I didn't get an answer until today. Okay. So Goodbye. Mark, we ask you to return Dove's <laughs> account. Yeah. Mark is, a, a is an avid <laughs> Twin GB listener. Give Dove back. Give Dove's Facebook yes. back. Yeah. I'm a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. It was fascinating. Thank you so much. Is there anything we can uh, plug? Like you're on Twitter. I'm on Twitter, but in Hebrew. And and I write in Hebrew. In Hebrew, you do lectures and stuff. Um, I mean, I sometimes go to schools. If mm-hmm. um, can know. people reach? Out? I work. Uh-huh. Can people reach out to you? Contact people you? can con- contact contact me on on, on, on Twitter. On Twitter. Right. Um, yeah. I'm sure Dov Morel yes. on Twitter. And if um, I will get my Facebook account back, so. It's, it's a, yeah right amazing thank you so much for coming before thank we go you, uh guys uh, yes. if you're watching the youtube uh video you can see our mugs we have two mugs you nice like jewish this boy <laughs> and bds <laughs> tears mug uh and you can go to twingb.com slash merch and buy the mugs and support the show and uh, yes. enjoy the sweet sweet taste of bds tears <laughs> or nice jewish boy yeah <laughs> Uh, so go go and and yeah. please buy a mug. Also, Arutz Sheva. Also, Arutz Sheva, IsraelNationalNews.com. This episode is made in collaboration with them. IsraelNationalNews.com. Check them out. Great source for opinions, for news. Um, yeah, our podcast is also on there. IsraelNationalNews.com. Yep. And, and the Australian Jewish News, AJN.TimesOfIsrael.com. Check them out for the Australian angle on Jewish news. And we accept donations, so please go. Yeah. Uh, you're, it's Times of Israel. I also have a blog in the ah. Hebrew Times of Israel. Okay. Yeah, so. so if you speak Hebrew, guys, we'll, link, we'll put a link to Dove's Hebrew blog. And uh, we Last accept donations. Least, yeah. Yeah. So we accept please. donations, so uh, you can go to twinjb.com slash donate and help us out. That's it. Thank you so much. Welcome. Good luck. Thank you, Dove. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.